Hello, comrades. Come in, Sabro, here today with Starhammer the Vanguard Prophecy. This is a game by uh, Slytherin and was actually developed by a group called Black Labs. They were kind enough to provide a uh, review copy for me to check the game out. And I gotta say, it's pretty interesting. I really like how this game plays out. It's kind of like a story driven, turn based space strategy game. Uh. And it's it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. It makes me think of a lot of like if if any of you guys are familiar with Nexus the Jupiter incident, it makes me think of that just turn based. So mix it with like take Flotilla and then mix it with Nexus the Jupiter incident. And that's kind of what you've got here. And it's pretty cool. I like it. Um here's the little mission select screen. Basically it changes each time. You have generally you get about two missions to pick each time from what I've seen I think this is the fourth mission I'm on you actually accrue based on your skill level like how you play you accrue either an aggressive uh, on the war scale or defensive on this the war scale and at first I was pretty aggressive you know really hitting hard beating the tar out of the enemies but the past couple of missions I played have been incredibly difficult in the sense of there's uh, there's a lot of guys just coming at you so yeah yeah and as you can see, basically, here's the mission right here that we could do, where we protect a salvage crew from all threats. It's kind of like an escort mission, I would think. And then this one, scout ahead for any hostiles on the way to the Nemo 4 wreckage. So what I'm going to do is this one, and defend this thing from attack. So, here's our little deployment screen here. You can pick a formation, you can move them however you want, you know, put them... If you want them on a lower plane, they can be on a lower plane. If you want them on a higher plane, so on. There's shields on, like, basically each ship has a shield on the front, the left, the right, the rear, the top, and the bottom. So, you know, it's beneficial uh, to actually switch up where you're attacking from. You can also request reinforcements if you want. Um, the only one, like, the only one I can afford right now is just the Raider. But you can actually, as time goes on and you move on through the story, you can actually uh, continue on. Now, keep in mind, there is a skirmish mode. There's a random mission generator. Um, there's no multiplayer, unfortunately. I feel like this game would be a really cool uh, multiplayer game. And, oh my goodness, look how big that ship is. I want it. I hope, like, I imagine the ships get bigger and bigger. Like, when I first started out, I didn't have a ship as big as... Uh, uh, you know, is this one right here? Like, if you see my, that's my frigate, the Albatross Tallahassee Foe frigate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you like that? Now the graphics aren't the best, but I do think everything looks really good for what it is, um, and for the way the game actually plays. So, don't let this uh, this menu like <laughs> overwhelm you. It's actually pretty simple. And I'll I'll kind of just look at everything bit by bit while the people are talking up there. If you click here at the bottom left, you can actually redistribute your shields. Uh, you can move it left to right, so on. Do that, do that, do that bit. You can turn your shields off and whatnot. You make it where they can't be moved at all. Um, right here, you've got the energy distribution where, okay, say more power to the shields, more power to the weapons, more powers to the engine, etc., etc. We're going to leave it on more of a a balanced one. Actually, we'll probably hit the engines first, but then again, I want to stay near this guy right here, that utility ship. So, uh, I think we're going to we're going to do a big circle. Yes, we uh yes, we uh and my frigate's just going to kind of move around. This guy's going to move around him. Yeah, so that's basically how the movement works, too. Now, you can move up and down the planes. See, yeah. Right there it shows that I'm actually moving him up. Oh, we're going to keep them down, though. So, yeah, movement's really simple. You've got firing arcs and all the different, uh, like, ships. Obviously, the little tiny fighters kind of have a forward firing arc. Uh, bigger ships, like this frigate here, they have a left, a right, uh, and a forward. And they can deploy countermeasures against missiles. Uh, this corvette here actually has guns that are facing rearward, as you can see there, and forward, forward guns as well. Uh, and it also has missiles. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how the firing arcs work on that one. But uh, I like to keep the projections on personally so I know where my ships are going. <laughs> I'm sure once I get better, I won't need it anymore. But until that time. And you can even go and, like, see, you can go into real detail if you want into how you're actually firing uh, against targets. Like, if you want to just 
pick singular targets if you want to auto fire against groups and so on and so forth you can also ram enemies in this game which is actually a really cool feature and something that you'll find out is can be incredibly devastating to both parties especially if you don't have your shield so you know with ramming you want to be careful if you can so yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn our fighters all the way around I'm basically just kinda waiting for the enemy ships to get closer get closer to me and I think the frigate will just kinda will take most of its power out of the engines make sure it moves really slow yeah and give them some time to catch up to us these enemy ships are an alien race called the Nautilids that you'll actually learn more about as the game goes on I don't really want to ruin any any do any spoilers I just kinda of want to show off the gameplay cuz it's yeah it's fun this is cool especially for twenty bucks this is this is not bad at all and uh, I like I just like how it works it very feels very well made and smooth now there isn't voice acting which as you guys know I'm a huge fan of voice acting oh shit we're under attack oh shit it, oh, it, it did, we didn't see the damage model because it stopped right then alright well we'll turn our ship all the way around and something else that's actually cool is like your missiles have like area of effect so if I fire a missile at those two krill there and I kill one of it, it it'll blow them both up like if it blows up and kill both of them it's really cool I love that are we in the right firing arc Let me make sure oh no we're not so we need to turn our ship yes to give it a full broadside there we go pew 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 as you can see we're doing a little bit of damage this the frigates aren't very good at bringing down smaller targets you know clearly from what we're seeing uh, let's do this. Full to weapons and shields. Yes. Yes! Wait, okay. Yep, full to weapons and shields. And we're gonna kinda slow him down and get him to turn in. This fellow here. We just keep moving on. Keep moving on to moving on. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot that that utility ship was like flying up behind us. We need to get him, turn him back around. He doesn't have any guns, I don't think. So yeah, see the battles here can actually dive like quickly turn into slugfest between groups of enemies, especially when you're in, in, engaging these krill. Now I haven't, I'm not that far in the game. Keep in mind, so there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen yet. But from where I am right now, this is already a really cool game, and I can see myself putting enough time in to actually learn more of the specifics and how it works. And look, we actually brought down two targets, two krill targets. There's actually other ships in the game, like you'll fight pirates early on that have similar ships as yours. And those are really the challenging ones is when you're fighting. Oh, look at that. That missile just devastated those krill. Look, they're all heavily damaged. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So we're going to turn our ship back to the right. And uh, I guess I'm going to kind of about face these dudes, our little fighters here, so that they can they can do that. Where's our frigate at? He's over here, just minding in his own business, not doing anything important, right? Yeah, yeah. Full weapons, since no one's shooting at you. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So basically, the story is all conveyed through these little text boxes up here between the people. Um, if you want to speed it up, you can just click, and yeah, like you can pretty much go through all the stuff that you know. Any strategy, if you've ever played a strategy game before, ever. Then you know how that works. So yeah, <laughs> that's there. Um, yeah, I mean I don't know. I don't know. There's I could go into more detail. Like there's a skill system for and a relationship systems for the officers on your ships, which I always forget to check in between missions because that's the only time you can mess around with that is in between missions. And um, so you can kind of go in more depth and like actually giving your ship passive bonuses in battle I don't know if there's any active skills I don't think so I think this game is more of a kind of a passive type with skill sets and whatnot which personally I like that I much prefer that over uh, active skills even though some games do active skills right there's no doubt about that but yeah I'm just I, in this type of game I much prefer this type of style and I'm kind of hoping we can actually kill these krill like quickly. Even though this dude, this dude, he is evading some bullets. Again, the frigate is not accurate against these smaller targets. However, 
anything larger than a krill pretty much gets devastated from what I've seen anyway. Oh shit, did I hit something? Yeah, it looks like he hit something. If you ram something or you bump into an object, your ship's navigation will be knocked off uh, for a turn's worth of time. Uh, well, oh yeah, give, give him the ass cannons! Give him the ass cannons! Fire! Uh, well, that <laughs> the frigate got it. So that was the mission. That was a real simple mission uh, as far as it goes. Like I said, missiles friggin' devastate in how this works. Wow, look at that. That frigate had six kills. I didn't realize it had that many kills. All right, good. Everybody got a little bit of experience. Yeah, see? And uh, it shows down here the war scale, how you did, which I got a 5.9. So my war scale is now 16. And what other missions do we got? Uh, protect the... So another just a side quest. And I think these circle ones are actually the main ones, maybe? Stegmodius satellite relay has been declared a spoiled asset. It is understood a single contract casualty occurred aboard the relay. A full liability assessment will be blah, 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 blah. So you get these news reels and stuff like that that happen too. Uh, let's look at the crew skills real quick before I do end it. So I don't have any other crew members right now. But you can see there's that little green bar represents a relationship between you and your crew. Basically... If you uh, have a bad relation, and generally you get a bad relation because of a certain style. So, like, if I decide that I want to – see, if I want to be a full defensive style, that – he doesn't like that. He's like, no, 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 I don't think we should do that. I think we should do something else. But if you swap him over to a more of aggressive style, then you could go full defensive and he can go aggressive. It's simplistic, yet it gives you bonuses in how you fight. So in this case, if we do that, I have 10% flagship shields from uh, my fleet commander. And then from the gunnery ensign, we get a plus 5 flagship weapon damage bonus. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's all pretty simple. This game is incredibly easy to learn. And at the same time, is actually a lot of fun. I really like this game so far. And uh, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm looking forward to putting a little bit more time into it. And seeing what else I can explore and learn more about the story. The story, like I said, again, I do wish that it was voice acted because I'm always a huge fan of voice acting. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not. And that doesn't really drag the game down any. But, you know, you know how it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time.